Hey guys, two up Tuesday. Today, helmets, helmets, helmets. We're gonna talk a lot about helmets. We talked about what to do in here. Now we're gonna talk about the parts of this, um, how to use it, how to put it on, etc. So we're gonna start, this is my helmet. It's the helmet that I wear, um, no matter which bike that I'm riding. So uh, you can kind of get a look around. It's got padding on the inside, um, all the way around. So it keeps padding up top on both sides. These kind of fit up against my cheeks. Um, so you want to make sure when you're getting a helmet, if you're not buying something new, that all of this padding is still good or have it replaced because that's what's going to keep this thing snug on your head. Um, and then we've got our buckle strap here that attaches the helmet. Um, and we're going to put it on here in a second. And I'll show you how that works. Then we have the visor lens, um, and this just pops right up. So when you're inside of the helmet, you can uh, get some air. I'll be able to see out a little bit more. Mine has this pinkish purple tint, which I love because I can see through this day or night. Um, I'll show you a couple others. This is a clear one. Um, Kyle wears this at night because you obviously always need eye protection. Uh, you get a bug going at 50 or 60 miles an hour. You don't want to think about what that can do to your eyes. So uh, always make sure your lens is down or sometimes I'll wear sunglasses um, with my lens up during the day just so I can get a little bit more airflow in there. But I always have something covering my eyes. So here's a clear one. Um, and then Kyle also has a smoked one which is just a little bit darker for super sunny days. Um, and then I've got this colored one. So this is the lens, it just pops right up. Um, it comes off so that it can be replaced. Mine also on the side here has a lock. So if I press this, my lens will not come up and down. So it secures it down. So um, if I have a problem, sometimes I'll accidentally hit this and my lens won't go up. Um, so I pop this up a lot of times when we're stopped. So you're sitting at a stoplight, it's starting to get real, hot inside here, pop your lens up, you get some airflow in here, you're good to go. Talking about air, also air vents, and every helmet has several of them. We'll go over the features of mine. You can see where that's at. This button opens it to get airflow through and closes it to stop the airflow. So depending on if it's cold or warm out, do you want air in your helmet or do you wanna close that off? So I would recommend when you get a helmet, um, familiarize yourself with this and remember which is open and which is closed because you'll get on the motorcycle and think, man, I wish I had some air. I can't remember which is up or down. And it's usually not enough airflow that it's sub substantial that you can tell. Same on the top. Um, we got airflow vents here, turn them on and off. So they're gonna let a little bit of airflow through the top. So familiarize yourself with where those are and how they open and close on your helmet um, for sure. Now we're gonna talk about putting this thing on. Um, I have a ponytail, which is how I might go out someday, some earrings, like, hey, we're gonna go out on a bike ride, I'm ready to go. You're not. You don't wanna wear these things and put on your helmet. Um, I can tell you from experience, if you get this in here, and I have a lot of hair, um, it's going to press up against your helmet and hurt. If you get these in there, they're going to push up against your skin and you're either gonna have circles on your face when you get out of the helmet, um, or pinched in the skin, or if you just have posts, they're gonna be sticking into your skin back here. So the first thing you wanna do is get rid of these. I just throw them in my pocket. If I feel like I need some earrings to look nice where we're going, I just put them in the pocket of my jacket. And then you're gonna take this down. Um, and usually uh, I'll wear my hair back pulled at the nape of my neck so that none of it that's pulled back is under the helmet because again, there's only so much room in there and you don't want it to get too snug. So I'm just doing a low ponytail back here or sometimes I'll do a braid uh, just to keep it all back. So then we're gonna grab the helmet by our straps and they're on both sides. This is where uh, the hook is, other side. Pull them apart so that you can get your head in there. And then I'm just gonna drop it down on. So I have it on, lift this up like we talked about so you, can, you see. Now here's how you're gonna fasten your strap. You're gonna bring the long side here through both of the metals. There's two of them, as you can see. You're gonna go through them both. Make sure the strap is not twisted. Then you're gonna pull them apart and then you're going back through just one of them. So this is what that looks like. Back through just one. And then you're gonna pull it as tight as you can handle it. You want it snug, you don't want this helmet coming off, but this is gonna be on your neck the whole time too. Then this comes around um, and there's a snap here. 
So then I'm going to snap it. So now I've got a couple things. I've got the snap, and then if the snap comes undone, I've got this double ring that holds it on and have this snap down. So you're going to want to make sure that it's on good. And here we talked about this before. See how my helmet doesn't move around much? i got good padding in here. This thing's ready to go. Um, how's my head safe? To get it off, you're just going to unsnap it, thread it back through where you went through those, pull it out, and you're good to go. Uh, to take the helmet off, I usually grab both hands and just lift it up off of my head. But as you can see, if I had a ponytail, it would have ripped it out anyway, and those earrings get pulled out when you do that. So it's best to take all those things off, do some sort of a low pinch on your hair. Now, all of this hair, since my hair is so long, I would put this inside my jacket when I put my jacket on so it's not blowing in the wind and getting all tangly and coming around and hitting me in the face. But however you want to... Um, attach your hair you want to take care of that a couple things you can do inside your helmet especially if it's cold out I have a couple examples I'll show you what I use um, I use a who rag I also use this in my Jeep because I can put it on and it keeps dust out of my face and it basically is just an open piece of cloth it goes all the way through a bunch of different designs I just pull it over um, and if it's really cold out I'll leave it at like this level so it's over my ears. The key is that it's down on your neck like this. So when you put the helmet on, it's going to keep your neck from getting any cold. You're going to get a lot of air up in your helmet and through your neck area where your jacket ends and your helmet begins. You got this space. So it's either going to come up and get cold um, on your head or go down through your jacket. So you wear something like this. Um, you put your helmet on over. I usually grab this with my teeth. Grab these. So you can see, I have that. It's up in my helmet. So I'm good to go. This is covered all the way around. No air is going to get up in here. This has a dual benefit as it's holding my hair down in the back as well. So when I put my jacket on over here, completely covered. So these are great to have. If it gets too cold, you can always reach down in here and pull this thing up. I've done this before on rides where it's covering my whole face. Uh, so that if any air accidentally does get in there, I have this on as well. So that's one option. A um, couple others. And this one I'm done riding. If it's not too cool out, I just put it down like this. Just like a little neck piece and just keep it on. Um, or you can take it off or you can use it as a hair tie. Um, there's other options as well. Here's one. This goes completely around your face to keep you warm. And then this goes down inside your jacket so you don't get any air up in there. So you got that as well. And then put your helmet on over it. Um, this one's just a sock as well. So it's just going to go over and sit on your neck. Um, it keeps them dry. I've tried this one a few times and I just feel like the air can still kind of get in it a little bit. But it's better than nothing. And these are so small when you're done. You just fold this up. Um, stick it down into one of your jacket pockets and you're good to go. So I was trying to keep one on the bike. Because sometimes... We go out, it's Florida, it's nice, and then it gets dark and we're coming home and it gets really cool. And without this on my neck, I can really tell the difference. It really gets cold. So um, those are some things you can use with your helmet. As far as accessories, we've talked about before the um, intercom system. We have seen us. Uh, you just push this button and it'll connect you with the other rider. Uh, another button I push, it connects me with my phone. I can talk to Siri and she can open apps. It has a mic that sits right underneath my mouth up in here so I can talk um, either on the phone or to the other rider. And then up on both sides in here, um, there are speakers. Now, this was an aftermarket uh, we bought. Kyle installed them. Both of our helmets have them. So um, you just put this on the side. This comes off and mine is really hard to get off, so I'm not going to try and pull it off. But this section here comes off the helmet. So if you're going to be storing your helmets on your bike um, and you've got some sort of a helmet lock, you want to take this off and put it somewhere safe because somebody could grab these and they're not super cheap. So you want to make sure you take care of that. Uh, some other things on helmets. Kyle has a camera system uh, that mounts to the side. This Bluetooth to his phone so he can just turn on the camera. I know a lot of riders have these because they kind of catch anything. So if somebody pulls in front of you or something goes on, it just catches all the action in front of you. Um, so there's that also on one of those. I think it's this helmet. We have the mount for our GoPro. So you can wear your GoPro up here, 
Um, I've seen it mounted on the side as well, or up here. And I can tell you, I don't know, I haven't worn his camera on that helmet, but I, on my other helmet, had this with a GoPro on top, and the drag hurts. Um, even that small of a thing, that GoPro, when the wind hits it, it pulls your head back and you don't realize it. And my neck was so sore after wearing a GoPro. We went from here to Daytona Beach, I think, and I wore it the whole time. Um, it's fun to wear and you get a lot of good footage and all you have to do is just reach up and touch the button to turn it on. But think about where it's at. It's a lot of drag. We saw some guys over the weekend that had theirs mounted here. Um, and so it, it wouldn't change what the drag is, but anything that's gonna stick out from your helmet on any of these sides where the wind comes through is gonna cause drag. So if it's on the side, even the slightest bit of your helmet pulling in that wind the whole time, you're gonna feel it in your neck. So think about it before you permanently mount something. Um, this is just a stick on, so it's not permanent. We can move it if we wanted to um, do that. Uh, as far as keeping everything clean, especially these lenses, make sure you get a product that does it. We've got a couple spray cleaners and polish. Um, there's a bunch of them out there. Just look and make sure that it's safe for like uh, plexiglass or whatever. There's Plexus and some others. Um, and always use a rag that's soft. Um, you don't want to use paper towels or anything like that. So like a chamois, some type of thing. Um, clean these. Keep one of these on the bike so you can keep it clean if you get a bug or something. Um, that way you'll be able to clean that off. And then last but not least, one of Kyle's favorite things. He ordered this because he thought it would be fun. And it actually is. But there's these accessories that you can buy for your helmet where you're now some sort of animal. They have like, I don't know, Santa Claus, different things, but it fits right over. So you're still safe. Cause look, I can still see everything. My helmet still fully functions. Um, it just tucks around. It's just an elastic thing, comes all the way around. And then when you're riding, um, you look like this. So you can add that to your helmet as well. Tons of other accessories, I'm sure. I see a lot of people do bling on their helmets. And so they got, um, stickers or whatever painting some people do uh some sort of graffiti art or spray paint or stickers from where they've been or whatever um just do whatever you want i've kept this one white so far and i'm not sure why i'm not i'm not a really big sticker person but i think i'm gonna get some um, stickers made before we go on this trip in may on the back um so i'll tell you what they are we're gonna call them tattoos for my helmet so i'm gonna get some put on here and probably get a new lens this one looks a little rough you have to replace these every once in a while. I mean, there's the occasional, your helmet drags up against something or you take a hit or up and down so much with your glove, you might get a scratch. Um, some of these, depending on what the finish is and which helmet, 40 bucks up to a hundred bucks. Um, so take care of it while you have it, but uh, they can be just popped off and replaced as well so that you can see out and see clearing. So. I think that covers everything in helmets. I think we can move on to something more interesting now. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments, or if you want links to any of the products that we talked about, I can definitely get you those as well. But uh, this is what's gonna save your noggin. Make sure you have it on, but have some fun with it while you have it too. Um, have a great Tuesday. See you next week.